Well, let's just do it one more time. Background, big fire. Started with the kindling. Background in your life might be bad, sick. The doctors have said there's nothing they can do for you. It's incurable. But you know, when you as a kid, you probably said things like this. Well, you know sickness runs in my family. Actually, sickness is in my genes. Well, listen, go get you a pair of different kind of genes. Because I had a guy in our church that the doctors had told him he had serious heart troubles and he couldn't live hardly any time. His father had passed away when he was in his uh, teens. His Three of his brothers died before they were 50. And it, and it didn't look like he was going to live. In fact, the doctor said, there's nothing we can do for you. Just plan on having a short life. His tongue set on fire the course of nature. But glory be to God, he started coming to the church. He started hearing the word of God that said with his stripes, he was healed. He started hearing that he could change what he says. So he began to say things like, I'll live a long life. I, I don't have to die. Now he's in his mid to late seventies now. He may be in his eighties. Uh, the longest living one of his brothers, his uncles, and all of his other relatives because his tongue set on fire the course of nature. And though you can't see the kindling today, he found out he can have what he says and he's still doing anything he wants to do because the word says, in fact, last time he went to the doctor, they found out he had another problem. And the doctor told him, said, you're not going to die of a heart attack. Your heart's fine. But this other thing's liable to get you. And he looked at the doctor and said, hey, let me tell you something. The God that healed my heart can heal the rest of my body. So your tongue sets on fire the course of nature, and then later on in life, you may not remember what you said. The kindling will be completely burned up, but you're going to have what you say. Pat and I are doing very well. Now, I'm, you know, I don't have millions in the bank. I wish I did, but I'm working on it. But I'm going to tell you, we don't, we're not suffering under lack. We're not suffering under poverty because I changed my confessions and began to say, I lit my fire by beginning to say, my God meets my needs according to his riches and glory and wealth and riches are in my house. And I laid that thing down there in the fireplace. And even though I can't see it now, this is what I started that fire with. It's kindling wood that I pick up. It's the heart of a of a pine tree, and I smell it burning right now. It's the heart of the tree that's full of rosin, and when you light it, it will light the bigger logs, and you can enjoy the warmth of the fire because you said it. I told you this a minute ago. I'm going to go back to it. It's cold outside, but I don't have to be cold inside. I went back there and set the thermostat up on my uh, uh, in the hallway on thermostat, and I demanded 71 degrees. Now, the thermostat has no power, but it can make a demand on the furnace, the heating unit, and cause heat to come in my house. Well, when it gets too hot, I can set it on 71 degrees and switch it to cool and cause it to come to my house, into my house. So I set my desire by setting the thermostat. Your mouth is the thermostat. Your tongue sets on fire the course of nature, and the only way you're going to get this stuff to work is do what the Word said. And maybe you don't want to do what the Word says. Maybe you want to go around and say, oh, I tell you what, you know, that big old dog over there, he's liable to bite you. That dog's not going to bite me because I say with my mouth, dogs don't bite me, and I'm redeemed from destruction. Hey, I got to go. I believe you're going to get the picture today. I want you to get it, get it, get it, control your mouth, control your tongue, and you control everything in your life. Hey, have a great day. And remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.